know, Martin Luther King had a brother that was found murdered in 1969 in the pool the very next year. How many of y'all know, did y'all know Martin Luther King's mom? Huh? Well, his mom was murdered in the church in 1974. Did y'all know that? While she was playing the organ. So, his, so Martin Luther King, his brother and his mother all was killed. Guess who was left alive? No, Martin Luther King Sr., the, the daddy. So they, they wiped out they wiped out that whole movie. That whole movie. Uh, I'm we're talking about the family of the ones that was in the spotlight that was moving to help get us rights. So they took out Martin Luther King, they took out A. D. King, they took out the mother. Y'all see, so this was a cabin where it was like a whites only cabin, right? And you see here, right here where it says white only luggage, white only, whites only cooler. Well, this is the stuff that our grandparents had to go through. We wasn't born into this era, but our grandparents was. And our grandparents made decisions so that y'all can live today to have the rights to change certain things, right? So you don't ever, ever, ever disrespect your elders. You hear me? Ever. You don't ever let nobody talk down on your elders. You don't ever let nobody call your elders sellouts. They made all the right decisions so that way you can have opportunities that you have today. But this is what, have y'all ever had to go somewhere where you had to sit in the back because you was black? No. No, but your grandmothers and them did, okay? Let's go. Now you see here? Now we hit, now come on. That's the only, that's the only. Now that says colored, colored water cooler only. So we had to sit in the back. All right, come on. Look, restrooms, look, restrooms in the colored section used by African Americans are smaller and lack a lounge area. There are, um, there are no oversized luggage bins. So there was no luggage what? bins, the bathrooms were smaller, all the accommodations, all the accommodations for us was wrong. So even when they had Plessy versus Ferguson in 1896 in Louisiana, when, when, when Plessy wouldn't get up, they said that they ruled it that, that, that they can have a separate but fair. But when they separated us, it was never fair. We never got all the things that we should get. So this is why we always fought for our equal justice. Because the bathrooms wasn't fair, the accommodations was never fair. All right? Seven, 60, 68, 64, 65, and all these different civil rights acts, and the, the laws that was on the books was never enforced. And this is why you have an African American on the museum that's telling you about all the things, the atrocities, and things that we went through. But they, but they also show you all the good things that we actually did too. It doesn't just consist of just us getting killed or bad things. You know, it consists of us inventing things. Do y'all know? Do y'all know that it was a black woman? that invented the first home alarm system. All the home alarm systems that people use all over the world. A black woman, Mary Van Britten, is the black, first black woman she invented the home alarm system. Everybody that used the home alarm system, when you think of home alarm systems, you think of the black woman. You tell people, put some respect on our name. Because we invented so much stuff that y'all don't know about. So our life don't just consist of us getting home and getting beaten by white people. We understand everything that we invented in the 21st century. So y'all need to know that people's getting mad, we can create science, we can read, we can do all these different things, right? So our life change is real music and real ninja and all that kind of stuff. Like we come from great people. But we need to know that we come from great people so we can begin to duplicate. Alright? Come here, y'all, come here. You know how they give y'all the story, they say they always tell y'all that we were slaves and all those different things. And they was y'all show y'all images of us hanging from trees. Well, come here. This is a story of Toussaint and Haiti, the Haitian Revolution. They don't really tell you this story, but this is a story when the Africans fought back and actually won. So when you see Haiti on the news and it's all poor, Haiti is poor because of what Haiti represents in the Western Hemisphere. 
and how we kicked the Europeans were high. The Louisiana Purchase was made because we kicked the French butt and they ran out of money. So, and we did it without the weapon. We beat the biggest, the greatest army in the world at that time, just with the limited weapons and things that we had. But it's not their job to tell you our story. So that's not our core problem. This is our This is one of our core problems. He's an enemy to fight. He's not. You have to know the history of your people. So from 1790 all the way through 1804, we was kicking behind. So the Haitian Revolution represents the history of our people and some of our freedoms and one of the rebellions that actually got us free. All right? Come on. Now, listen. Listen. Y'all know where this is at? This is in West Philly. On uh, 63rd and Osage Avenue. They had to rebuild. They had to rebuild the block. So this is the city that we come from. You had the mayor. You had who was the mayor at the time? Y'all wasn't born. It was Wilson Good. Wilson Good. You had D. A. Lynn Abraham, and they gave the okay to drop a C4 bomb on a city block in a residential area. A C4 is a bomb, a military grade bomb in 1985. And no, guess what though? They killed a bunch of black people and nobody went to prison for this. Nobody. Nobody went to prison for this. You understand what I'm saying? They dropped the bomb. So the only time in the U.S. history they ever dropped the bomb was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, but this is the bomb here. Look, you saw that? That's the event. I was, I was, I was uh, 10 years old at the time when this happened. Sitting, I was sit, sitting, on, sitting on the couch with my grandmother watching this. And they got away with it. But in 1978, they had a shootout with the police on Fountain Avenue. So the police was mad and they dropped the bomb and they got away with it. But like I said, this isn't black history. This is American history. This is a history that they don't want you to know. They're not going to come in your school and say, hey, well, we know we dropped the bomb on black people in 1985. So it's your job to know your own history. It's my job as an elder to teach y'all y'all history. All right?